fans, it's Joe from Borough Fan TV and this is the preview for the upcoming game on Wednesday the 14th of April with an 8pm kickoff as the Borough take on Norwich City in the Scarlet Championship at the Riverside Stadium. For Borough fans, no wins in three games since our return from the international break and uh, well, at least we've got something, uh, what a point in fact, in, that, in our last game, a 2-2 draw away at Bristol City. Um, I mean, we started out well. I mean, and then just before half time, uh, Bristol City found uh, a crack in our def leaky defence once again. Uh, Sam Bell uh, knotted in, um, knotted in the first goal just before half time for the Robins, and then second half we were just undone again. And uh, an easy tap in for Harry Cornick to make it two 0 to Bristol City. But then substitutes worked their magic in the end, and uh, we eventually uh, got a well deserved point with goals from Aaron Ramsey. And um, Matt Crooks, who surprised enough, Crooks uh, did well in that second half. Completely ran, completely ran the socks off um, to get us that point. Even though we're currently uh, for, uh, fourth place now in the championship, you know um, we've got the early uh, early start. You know early start with the fixtures at least. Uh, going into this weekend's round of fixtures, we're both playing uh, the day before the well, the night before the start of the kickoffs coming up, and it gives us an opportunity to uh, climb back up to third. Obviously with uh, we can go a level on points with Luton Town, who are currently sitting in that third spot at the moment. Um, we can go a level on points with them with a win, uh, but we'd have a better goal difference, so we'll jump up to third if we win tomorrow. Um, saying that for our opponents, for example, they can climb up to the playoff places with a win themselves, and they can go like um, about five or so points behind the borough. Um, but obviously, we'll get round to that when uh, I come round to the opposition view perspective. But like I say, it's a good opportunity for us tomorrow, even though uh, we've been leaky in defence recently uh, since our return from the break, conceding eight goals in the uh, last three games. It's not exactly what you call good momentum going into the playoffs, that's for certain. But um, we'll have to go take with the squad for now, considering, you know, uh, from Michael Carrick's press conference, because obviously Dale Fry was not in the uh, squad in the Bristol City game at all. He picked up a knock during training. Um, we seen on social media someone saying uh, that he had a boot on while watching one of the Borough youth, te youth teams in action this uh, past weekend. So uh, it's a bit concerning. Um, obviously, Dale Fry now goes into this game tomorrow as a doubt. So I'm not sure if we're going to see Dale Fry being risked for this game coming up tomorrow at all. So he's the only one major doubt going into this game. But apart from that, our um, squad's fully fit to go. Um, and we need to at this point in stage, even though some. Um, some of our fans have been getting on certain players' backs over the last few games, but it's like the old saying goes, we've got to get behind the team, just forget about um, the critics. That's all I can do. Um, all we can do, basically. Um, now we're going to our opponents, Norwich City, who are themselves are uh, fighting for a place to get into the playoffs uh, in the last few games, running up to the season now. The country sit in eighth place in the uh, championship going into the next, this weekend's round of fixtures. They're currently two points off the playoff places. They're currently eight points behind the Borough going into this one. The record going into this game has played 41, won 17, drawn 10 and lost 14. Last time out for them was a goalless draw for them at home against Rotherham United. Now Norwich City this season started off well, you know, considering you know one of the teams that went down from the Premier League last season. You would expect them to be up there challenging for automatic promotion this season, but this wasn't to be the case. They started well, but they've dipped in form since then. Um, obviously, Dean Smith lost his job, and he's been, since been replaced by the former Huddersfield town manager, David Wagner. And since then, he's been a bit inconsistent from what I've seen from Norwich City so far. Um, in the last five games, only one win. In the last five, one win, three draws and one defeat. Uh, that defeat obviously coming, of course, against Sheffield United, but they've been inconsistent at times, Norwich. But if you look at the squad, um, they still retain some good like Premier League like quality players in there. Um, now, one to watch for me as saying tomorrow uh, for tomorrow is going to be Timo Pukki, obviously without a doubt, and this is his final season at Norwich as well. He'll be leaving the club at the end of the season, so we still got to watch out for players like Timo Pukki. Also, uh, Joshua Sargent as well, the USA international forward, and he's their current top scorer this season at the moment with 11 goals. We've obviously seen the Puki close behind him with 10. Um, the Brazilian, Gabriel Sara, who's um, been impressive for them in his first season with Norwich. 
And uh, other players to watch out for, Ornel Hernandez, obviously, ex player. Uh, obviously, since he came back to Norwich after he had uh, a role spell with us and a role spell with Birmingham last season, he's come back into the Norwich uh, team and he's been tremendous for them, just like uh, Paul Towns who went up for him over at Carroll uh, Road. Um, other players to watch out for, Max Ahrens, who's obviously stuck around with the Norwich side, obviously. Um, because obviously he's been linked with Premier League clubs and clubs from Europe in the past. Um, obviously another another player to mark out as well is Angus Gunn. He's obviously uh, took over from Tim Cruel as the first choice goalkeeper now uh, at Norwich, and uh, he's a second generation with the uh, in terms of Norwich City as well. Because his dad, Gwyn Gunn, was a goalkeeper for Norwich City as well back in the late eighties, early nineties. So it's good to have that in the team. Um, but obviously, you know, uh, Ben Gibson is out injured for the moment, so he probably won't feature. Neither is Grant Hanley either, he's also injured. So this struggling with a couple of injuries at the back, in, certainly with the defence at the moment, I know it. So a couple of problems for them at the back, but uh, like I said, they were a tough team to beat. We, that was obviously been known throughout the years that Norwich certainly like to cause us problems. Uh, but, you know, like I said, they were a tough team to beat. And obviously, we won't go into fair detail of that certain day in Wembley. Anyway, uh, last time we played Norwich was over at Carroll uh, Road just before the World Cup. Uh, we beat them by two goals to one. They obviously went in front very early in the first half with Joshua Sargent's goal. And uh, we fought back with, go- with that sublime, sublime goal from Riley McGree to equalise. And then obviously uh, we got the winner through Matt Crooks to uh, get our first win at Norwich for God knows how long. Um, but our home record against Norwich has not been great. I think the last time we beat Norwich at home at the Riverside came all the way back in 2014 when uh, we beat them by four goals to nil. Well, obviously, uh, I think it was Patrick Bramford who well, Patrick Bramford grabbed uh, two of them goals. Grant Ledbetter and Yannick Wiltshire were among the scorers that day. But since then, it's been a few draws, a few losses at home uh, against the Canaries. So, but, uh, We've obviously the five games after the season and we got a head start and all the rest before our Saturday's fixtures. We've got to win it. You know, we've got to break this little duck that we're on. Obviously, picking up one point in three games since our return from the break has not been great. But it's a certain one of them games, you know, with um, the five so games left now this season or even, yeah, five games left. That's, this is the one you definitely got to capitalise on, even though it's going to be a massive ask for us. Leave your thoughts and predictions in the comment section below, but fans, don't forget to like, share and subscribe as always. Our social media links will be in the description below. And until then, I've been Joe from Borough Fan TV and I'll see you on the next match preview video, which will be for the game on Wednesday the 19th of April as the Borough hosts Hull City at the Riverside. Until then, take care, stay safe and up the Borough.